everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Tokubits in Memory, other known as Judy. And today I finally have a new video for you to show my little vlog, my little trip of me visiting San Francisco and the San Francisco Pen Show. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I attended San Francisco Pen Show that was held at August 25th to August 27th at the Westin Hotel and it was my very first time attending as a vendor. So while I was there, I arrived a little bit earlier around Wednesday just so I can mentally and physically prepare myself. I also want to hang out with my friends which are in the stationary community that I am in and I just wanted to have a good time and prepare myself right before the show. So let me show you the very first few pages of my insert. Um, you can see me recording of myself taking a picture with my luggage. I've also uh, arrived at San Francisco Customs, so I took a picture of that. Um, and then um, here is my boarding ticket from Taipei to San Francisco. Um, I remember I kept this little napkin while I was on a plane. Relax and recharge. You could definitely see I was flying United. Um, it was my first time flying that airline as well. And then I got to San Francisco early in the morning. So um, my friend treated me to Cronut, which I never had. I thought that was actually very interesting. And they treated me to a lot of other various food. I remember I was having like tacos. So I asked if I could like keep some of the little paper bits from the packaging as well. Um, I bought some things at Walgreens. Um, I also hang out with a bunch of our lovely friends in the stationary community on Thursday. So this was like on Wednesday and then this was on Thursday. So we did have a little group meetup with brunch and journaling and it was really a lot of fun. Um, we went to this cafe called Tartine. It's a act it's a really good cafe to meet up with like a bunch of like a group of people. We had this really big table and even though it had like limited time for us to sit uh they allowed us to sit for like about two hours ish i was i believe we were there for like a little bit more than two hours um but i did order a lovely omelet brunch we ate so many different types of food um at the end of the day i remember i was ordering vanilla ice cream sandwich at buy right um, we also ordered uh, tacos um, during the day, but I remember we were really full from the butt brunch, so that's why I didn't eat as much uh, at like 2 p.m. You can definitely see that was like 2, 2 p.m. Um, but we did go to a lot of different stores in downtown San Francisco. You can definitely see we went to this little press shop, which um, I thought it was actually really cool uh, I did buy something at the serendipity uh, that were selling cards and gifts I remember I was buying a lot of San Francisco postcards so that I could write to people um, about my trip and so the, um, that was that with the whole day of Thursday um, I had a really lovely time. The weather was really nice. Um, I did record a lot of things, so I uh, hope you guys like the little vlog that I will be showing you next. Me and my luggage at the Taoyuan Airport preparing for departure to San Francisco. Arriving on the airplane, finally, um, we will be doing 11 hours of flight and I currently am recording this where we have one minute left of landing. I wanted to get off. <laughs> 
so finally I am here at San Francisco through the customs and my friend finally picked me up I was super super excited the weather was really nice and I was just having a feel I was having a moment to myself that I can't believe this is actually happening um, so yes it's it's surreal to me but I'm just taking it all in Enjoying the sceneries, enjoying America. It is still morning, so my friend treated me to crow nudge, which I never had before. The smell was amazing, and they had a lot of options. And for lunch, we have Korean braised short ribs with a lot, a lot of cheese. <laughs> This meal was a lot. We could not finish afterwards, so... <laughs> On Thursday, we are visiting the downtown San Francisco and we're riding the metro. Riding from Millbrae, so it is about 30 minutes ish to the downtown. There weren't a lot of people, thankfully, because it is still a weekday. Um, so I believe a lot of people were already at the office and everything. So the weather was really, really nice. The skies were really blue. There were sunlight. It was not too hot for me. There's still a little bit of breeze. Thank you. Um, but, yeah. We finally arrived at Tartin where we first had our brunch with everybody before journaling. So that was it for the vlog of the pre-SF Pen show. You can see we definitely did a lot of things on Thursday. I didn't have time to record everything just because we were just so busy with walking and talking and just hanging out. But you kind of like get the idea. I was just trying to relax. But on Thursday evening, some of us, including me, um, we are also um, vending at the SF. So we have to prepare arriving um, to the air to the hotel a little bit early so I remember I was arriving at the hotel around around 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. and um, a few of us had to prep a little bit early just so we could get ready for Friday so I finally arrived at the hotel it was also the very first time that I've met paper treat face to face for the very first time uh, I was tabling with her on the show from Friday until Sunday so again it was very surreal to me that I finally get to meet her after these past few years that we've known online so we we just we just literally just had a moment we were just like oh my gosh I can't believe you're here I can't believe that we are doing this this is like one of the dreams come true and everything so I really cherished that moment when we um, met face to face
so on Thursday we were just prepping and trying to display figuring out everything so that took a little bit of time and then I wanted to show everybody what the layout to our booth looked like how to get there so on the beginning we have the exhibitor list and the map and then I just want to show you how to walk to our booth you can see some people have already set up some things on Thursday um, so there were a few pens um, ink samples that you can try writing on our way to our booth and then in this little room is where our booths are located you can definitely see we have paper treat that is on that corner and then we have my table you can see how nicely paper tree has displayed her things with her newspaper she also had stickers and candies on the corner where you can freely take <laughs> And I th really thought it was a super cute idea to have a guest book so for her customers and her friends are visiting for the very first time and meeting her you could definitely sign into her guest book and then for my booth uh, we have a few little things here and there I don't want to speak too much about it but you know we have stickers we have PT tapes um, we have postcards and everything. We have the collaborated art with my and me that I prep for this show. You know, just a little bit of everything here and there from Taiwanese artists that I wanted to showcase with people. And then finally, I have the time to ask. Ayako from Cute Things for Japan to have an autograph as well as Eric and so I thought that was a bit of a highlight for me as well I remember we were taking selfies together it was really surreal that I get to meet them face to face for the first time as well so you can see like we were really busy with our tabling from Friday up until Sunday. I remember every single day we woke up at 6 a.m. just to prep things before the show. The show always opens at 8 so we had like about 90 minutes to one hour just to prep ourselves. Um, so that was really tiring but it was really worth it um, I want to thank Annie one of, of our friends in the stationary community to help me with tabling if I were doing this alone I could not think of how I would be able to manage it throughout the three days so having a friend next to me was really really helpful um, it made a huge difference in how I tabled so a lot of things went smoothly so on Saturday um, I have the honor of going to use these stamps um, for my journaling so the TRC also had a little session after Eric's workshop from the SF Pen Show where they could take like about 30 minutes just to use Eric's handmade stamps. So I made a spread, these two pages, just me stamping and stamping a lot of the things um within the 30 minute time frame so you can definitely see i took some pictures of it i did not have time to do a vlog i did not want to waste time with stamping you could definitely see i was like stamping so much of it in total um i calculated i was counting i think i stamped like over 150 of the designs just because it felt that it was a one-time chance that I could ever do this and you can see me definitely me holding one of the Eric stamps so I thought this was also one of the highlights during the pen show 
that I get to do again because I was so busy with tabling and everything um, Annie was helping me cover in those 30 minutes just so I was able to stamp a lot of these um, so I was really thankful thank you again Annie for helping with um, tabling everything just so I could like attend this and so the next few pages were just little bits of moments here and there. I did have in and out um, for dinner, so I kind of just want to highlight that just a little bit, just because I don't usually have in and out. There is no in and out in Taiwan, so in and out is only available in the West Coast. So I did manage to eat that for one of my meals for dinner, and you know I was just um, just writing a few other things. Um, of the other meals that I've ate and you know just just like a few little moments here and there so there was that and then Sunday comes and then you know I we had to prep to pack and then we have to get ready to you know everybody has to go home and everything so the weekend was actually quite tiring it was really fun but it was also tiring so I basically was like I I was ready to go back to Taipei so here is just a spread of me with my boarding pass from San Francisco um, to Taipei on a Monday I had one day just to rest for a little bit just so you know I can like take the time to pack everything properly and you know just to have a day to just chill and relax and to just think over the past few days that has happened so um, just wanted to make this little spread right here so there is that with the whole SF Pen Show. You can definitely see for next year, the date has been confirmed that for next year, 2024, the date will be August 23rd to 25th. So hopefully, hopefully, I will have the chance to go if time permits me. Um, I loved, I loved the experience that I had for this year and I would immediately want to go again next year just so I can meet everybody. I just love meeting the people. So you can definitely see for this insert, um, the beginning of the insert was just about my um, trip to the SF Pen Show, but then on the end of the back of my journal, um, there were just a few little notes from friends. You can definitely see this is Eric's handwriting. Um, this was from the vlog that you guys just saw with the postcard. So I had Eric and Ayako sign this one. And then we have like, you know, just a few other little friends um, that were just writing in my notebook. So I really wanted to separate my trip and, you know, just a friend section kind of thing. So a lot of my amazing friends gave a lot of little gifts so i also wanted to highlight that in my insert as well and i did take a lot of selfies um i did definitely take pictures with my there's abby and then there's eric and there's ayako and then there's a few other friends here and there that i've taken selfies with so i i was just i was really amazed by the amount of support that i have from the community and everybody was just so nice um, um, it was just very overwhelming I just never had this kind of support from people all at once so I really had a lovely 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 time and that concludes my overall summary trip to the SF Pen Show hopefully you guys loved this kind of video when I do vlogs and showing my insert here is me arriving in Taiwan on the plane um, it was just it was a moment that I need to just look back think of the things that just has happened and you know a lot of things has happened and I just want to take a moment to thank everybody's support for my shop and for me and for also for paper treats 
Um, it was amazing. I really, really do enjoy each and everybody's interaction that I had. Sorry that I didn't get to a lot of the people just because tabling was just so busy. Hopefully, if I do ever come back to SF, we can meet again, cross paths, and hopefully I'll be able to see you. Let's take selfies. Let's write little messages in each other's journals. And let's have another unforgettable experience like this one. So thank you again for watching my video. i see you guys next time.